we look at the pictures here of St. George's Chapel, profoundly moving that moment they removed the crown from the queen's coffin. And of course, at the end there, God save the king. The piper, the queen's piper, performing and slowly walking away, the music fading. And it's so symbolic of this moment. moment. Queen Elizabeth II, and a new chapter begins. Victoria Murphy, what moved you here today? What a moment there for Pipe Major Paul Burns, playing us out, playing his final song for the Queen as he walked away there. For me, today has really been about encapsulating all of the things that Queen Elizabeth was, both publicly and as a person. And that has been reflected in the guests, in all the different elements of today, and in the crowds who have lined the streets, who have really made this moment. She went by the motto, I have to be seen to be believed, and she really was right until the end. And today, we gave a fitting farewell for a true public servant. She was seen today. Yeah. Well, so much appreciate your contributions, as always, Victoria. And, and Robert Jobson, what's going to be your takeaway for today? Well, I know she would have been immensely proud of the king and the family and the troops the great-grandchildren and grandchildren. But what we've captured here is the generosity of spirit of the Queen. And I think what I take away is that the King, who is a man of vision, duty and faith, will be the King who is fit to wear the crown and should be immensely proud of him. Powerful. Robert, thank you as well. The two of you have made this uh, so much easier for us and, and really a wonderful morning and afternoon here in London. James Longman, who lives here in London, of course, our foreign correspondent overlooking Westminster right here with us. James, I know you've been extraordinarily moved today as well. I'm thinking most especially now about Philip, about she's being reunited with her husband, a queen reunited. You know, he spent his life two steps behind her and now she's following him. And there's something tremendously poetic about that. The royal family does poetry well. I'm also thinking about the contrast. You know, think back 1953, the coronation. Millions of people watched all around the world on little black and white TV sets, many of them listening on the radio. Seven decades later, we're at the same abbey for something different, and yet some things remain the same. What she stood for, service, duty, sacrifice. People wonder why monarchy is relevant. That is why they're relevant. These are principles for the ages. And she was a queen for the ages certainly was as we see her grandson, Prince William, and his family, who will now be living at Windsor. And just so grateful, thank you, thank you, James, just so grateful to all who joined us these last few hours. And the person who struck me was um, Reverend Ian Greenshields, who was blessed to share a lunch and a dinner with the Queen in Balmoral just days before she passed and I was struck when he said that she took him to the window and showed him where the garden where she found peace and he also said she was still sharp she was welcoming as she always was and had no regrets no regrets yeah. and then Elsa Anderson also with a simple but notable point earlier she said ordinary woman with an extraordinary job and she did it with such grace and now has a son that will take on that monumental role. And we cannot say enough. This is how we started the day. She gave the world her heart, and she surely did, truly yeah. did. We don't even live here, and we felt it, didn't we? Mm -hmm. You know, and looking back at this morning, I think back to what Queen Elizabeth said at just 21 years old, still a princess. She said, I declare uh, before all of you that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to service. And hers was a life devoted to service mm -hmm. and devoted to family and to people. And you could see that in the faces of the yeah. people all along that final journey home today. Uh, the images of her great grandchildren, uh, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, looking on the future of the royal family. She would have been proud of them. And she would have been proud of her son, Charles, now the king. And I couldn't help but to think in all the faces of the Royal Navy and of the pallbearers, how proud she would have been of all of the people who played such an important role in this service today. And I'll leave you just with this last line, and we've talked about it here this morning. She said it during COVID, and it reminds us of that famous song back during the war. But she said, we should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. 
we will meet again. And we know that as we sit here, Queen Elizabeth is back with her family, her mother, her father, her sister, and with her husband, Prince Philip, who's been waiting for her. Right, and now it's, it can be a family affair. It's been a global affair, but now it can be a family affair because just a family will gather for that moment that you just described, David. And we, oh, we appreciate you across the pond, wherever you are, for joining us to witness this extraordinary celebration of Queen Elizabeth II. We're gonna have more coverage on ABC News Live. And let's see, yeah, World News Tonight with, with David Muir. You're gonna be live here in London. We will that. be here tonight. Yeah. Robin, always great to be by your side. And this extraordinary team mm -hmm. we were so lucky to have Ooh. here this morning. And behind the scenes as well, the control room. Thank you. And thank you back home for being here with us. And from all of us here at ABC News, thank you for watching. Good day. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.